Mr. Bowtie's Texas High School Sports Machine is driven by Henry Finley and McCombs Ford West, a proud supporter of all area local sports. McCombs Ford West, simply the best. Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that red subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great local sports coverage that TV and radio refuse to cover. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Mr. Bowtie1982. It's fun, it's free, and it's safe for the environment. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. A matchup of 6A girls soccer powers as San Antonio Reagan hosted South Lake Carroll on their home pitch. A matchup that could be found in mid-April at a state final instead of a mid-January regular season match. There is Reagan football manager Kate McCollum and head football coach Lyndon Hamilton. Did you know Hamilton once taught the mighty Pele how to do the perfect bicycle kick? It's true, possibly. Matt Colvin, the Dragon Manager, it's a homecoming match for him as he's a 1991 alum of Madison High who won a pair of girls soccer titles in the early 90s. An epic that lived up to the hype. Let's take it to the pitch. Two goals by the Dragons' Hannah Kahn, a Trinity University signee, told you there was another San Antonio connection, gave them a big advantage heading into the final 13 minutes with the win. Second one, I should have shot it, but I saw my teammates, so I played the one too and snuck it in there. They're really competitive teams, and it's good to play South Texas teams so we can get a feel of what they're like, because I know we can end up meeting with them like down in playoffs, so it's good to meet them in the preseason. But Reagan scored two times in a three-minute stretch going into the win that nodded the match up at two. I think it's most important that our team kept pushing through. And so when we were finally able to get the goal, it was almost like a reward for our efforts. And I feel like we just know that if we keep pushing, no matter what happens during the season and even further as we go into playoffs, that we'll be able to do anything if we keep working as hard as possible. Keep going. We weren't just going to settle for a 2-0 loss. So like we just dug deep and continued to fight to win. 80 minutes led to penalties and a marathon. It took 10 rounds of penalties until the Dragons got a save and beat Reagan 10-9 in PKs. The match lived up to the hype. It was a no-losers match in that both teams got a lot of positives out of it, and Reagan knows they can contend with the beasts of DFW. It's really showing us like all of our potential and how we can play as a team, and shows that when we all come together and like dig deep and work hard, that we can accomplish almost everything. We pretty much got wiped out by Austin, but this really shows us that 
that especially this year we have the potential to be something better than we were last year we have the people we have the like the ethic to work and i think this shows a really bright future for reagan soccer penalties are a great way to practice especially for playoffs because we won't be able to do those in a real game until we get to playoffs i'm glad we got to play these against some really good teams and um, i'm sure we can take back this competition and remember our mistakes and fix it for when we get back up there. The question will be if the Dragons can navigate the tough DFW to make it to Georgetown and if Reagan can get by the Austin area to get there as well. To get there as well. We'll find out in the coming months. Reporting from the San Antonio pitch, I am Mr. Bowtie.